it just seems like an overwhelming amount of ignorance, arrogance, and, and dysfunction. That's how Matt Mullet, manager of Rich Brow Brewing, sums up Richmond's finance department. We were told for four years that we were the problem and there was kind of a denial of any wrongdoing on, on the city's part. Mullet is one of several business owners upset with how the city handled the meals tax. The city told him not to collect the tax on draft beer, so he didn't. But then the city later said he actually should have collected it and billed him for it, along with penalties and interest. Since we first reported on his story, he's been meeting with city officials to resolve the issues. We have kind of agreed on the numbers that should be the corrected numbers that are, are owed versus the payments that were made. So I think we've made some progress there, but we're still incredibly far apart on what we need in order to resolve this matter. Other restaurant owners were hit with thousands of dollars in what they called incorrect and unfair late fees, were not being notified about outstanding balances, and expressed frustration over the tax collection. But how did the city fall into this position? I think all of us were asking ourselves those questions, right? Like, how, how did this happen? Councilwoman Stephanie Lynch says she didn't realize how bad the problem was until she took a tour of the finance department a couple weeks ago. They are running that entire department with paper as the system of record. So if you can imagine seeing boxes and boxes of paper uh, forms and receipts um, and file cabinets, um, it was like taking a tour back in time. We did some digging ourselves and found finance concerns are not new. In 2022, an investigation by the inspector general found the finance department for years failed to reconcile the city's fund balance each month, causing a $12 million overstatement. The report notes that this error could have caused financial information provided to those charged with governance to not be accurate, timely, or relevant. The inspector general recommended disciplinary action against the finance director, and we've asked the city if that action was ever taken and did not get an answer. And six years ago, in 2018, an audit recommended the finance department replace its outdated and inefficient debt collection system. The city said it would by 2020, but didn't. I think it is both a combination of years worth of neglect. I think oftentimes, you know, people get distracted with shiny objects and forget to focus in on the very just core basic functioning of, of City Hall. Lynch says she's now focused on solutions. Last night, the council approved a new legislation that requires regular audits of business accounts and subsequently notifications of debts and or credits. I think now that we are going to put some of these new processes in place, we can you know, build some confidence back up in, in local government. Mullet applauds the effort. The people want a well-run government and they want to be able to trust the government and City Hall is also trying to recruit more workers and holding hiring events as the Finance Department currently faces 34 vacancies out of 125 total positions. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.